ports along the East Coast are preparing for an increase in cargo ship traffic after Baltimore's Key Bridge collapsed this week. And President Biden raised $25 million at a campaign event last night in New York. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The Biden administration is releasing $60 million in federal aid to Maryland. That's to recover from this week's collapse of the massive Francis Scott Key Bridge after it was hit by a cargo ship. Four people are still missing and presumed dead. Two other people were killed. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is sending the biggest crane on the East Coast to clear the shipping channel. The key bridge has to be chopped into pieces and all debris removed from the river. The port of Baltimore remains closed indefinitely because of the bridge collapse. That means other East Coast ports are preparing for an increase in cargo ship traffic. Georgia Public Broadcasting's Benjamin Payne reports that includes the city of Savannah. Savannah is home to the second busiest container port along the eastern seaboard, behind only the port of New York and New Jersey. Mayor Van Johnson assured Georgians this week that cargo ships passing beneath the bridge along the Savannah River are escorted by local captains who know the ins and outs of the waterway. I think our residents um, can feel safe again. I've been on these ships with these river pilots. They navigate a much narrower waterway than what is in Baltimore, um, and they do it with skill and precision. Unlike the Key Bridge in Baltimore, the support columns for Savannah's bridge are located off to the shore rather than within the waters of the shipping channel. For NPR News, I'm Benjamin Payne in Savannah, Georgia. President Biden was joined by former Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton at an event last night in New York City. It raised $25 million for Biden's re-election campaign. NPR's Franco Ordonez reports the expensive haul shows Biden's financial advantage in his campaign against former President Donald Trump. The Biden campaign called it the most successful political fundraiser in American history. More than 5,000 people bought tickets to attend the party at Radio City Music Hall in New York. Comedian Mindy Kaling hosted. Lizzo performed. Stephen Colbert, the late-night host, moderated a talk with the three presidents. Obama touted Biden's policies and said unlike Trump, he had a positive message to share about America. Clinton talked up Biden's economic moves, as well as his efforts to try and work across the aisle on tough issues like the border. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign is promising their own historic night. Trump and the Republican Party are teaming up for a fundraiser in Palm Beach next week. They expect to raise $33 million. Franco. Ordonez, NPR News. A group of protesters briefly disrupted Biden's fundraiser last night. They oppose his handling of Israel's war in Gaza. Hundreds more protesters gathered outside the New York event. Inside, Biden said he would work to stop Palestinian civilian deaths, especially of children. Biden also said that in the war, Israel's existence is at stake. This is NPR.